there? Can you bring those? Okay, so I finally made it to Portugal. It has been a crazy last 48 hours. Like, there are so many moments that I wanted to capture and start this vlog, but my cameras have been dead for the past two days and I got to charge them last night. Um, but my all my stuff died on my last flight, so I didn't get to capture any moments that I wanted to capture. Um, like seeing Roberto, it was so cute. Right when I came out of the airport, his parents had signs for me. It was definitely a memory I wanted to capture, but it's okay. It all is for a reason. It's, it's in here, that's what matters. But I've been here 48 hours. We landed, I landed in Lisbon. Me and Roberto stayed at a hotel in Lisbon while his parents stayed at his house. And then we, the next day, got up and drove to the south of Portugal. We really have like seven days together and we want to make it down to Spain. So we're going to kind of like do a little road trip, but we're staying in, what city is this, babe? Porches. We're staying in Porches for two days and we've been all over the south of Portugal, but this is the first time where we found a hotel that is absolutely breathtaking here. There's a lot of nice ones. Normally we stay in Quinta del Lago. What is it? Where do we normally stay? Normally we stay in Quinta del Lago and it's so beautiful there. It's gorgeous, but this definitely tops it. If you're looking for a nice beachfront resort, it's called, where are we staying? The Blue, Villara. we're playing, we're staying at the Blue Green Villa Lara Talasa Resort. And that's the name of it. And I will link it down below, it's gorgeous. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. We're only here for one more day. We stayed here last night. We were all tired, we had a road trip. We're gonna have lunch with his parents and then head down to the beach. I'm just in a great mood. I'm excited for this vacation. Let's do a room tour. So it's a little messy. First, you walk in, you have this little hallway thing. I'm not sure, it's really cute. It's giving grease. Come out, you have this huge living room area leading into the bedroom and then you have a little fridge coffee area and then when you come over here it's the bathroom we got a little tub I might take a bath tonight and then we have a nice shower and then this cute little room it's a little bathroom with a bidet it's roberto say hi yeah. mm -hmm. and the cute bed. i was like knocked out on this bed last night it was so comfortable little tv and then this is the most breathtaking part huge balcony it is huge little comfy couch has the tennis courts over there so much nature it's insane how much nature is here it's so beautiful and there's the ocean back there it's just gorgeous here they have a spa if you want to relax it's very relaxing like if you just want peace in your life this is where you come. Mm. 
wearing the best hat in the world. I got this from Portugal last year. And I'm telling you, it's better than sunscreen. People sleep on the south of Portugal. Don't do it. Like, what? It's in nature and just gorgeous. So we're on our way to breakfast and I'm having jet lag still. So we like woke up and it's like nine. <laughs> Oh my God, I never wake up at nine. I wake up at like 6 a.m. I'm a 6 a.m. person. But since I'm going back in time, it didn't work. But yeah, so we're on our way to breakfast. We're here with Roberto's parents. So I'm gonna officially start the vlog today. Say it again. Morning. Oh, and his Under Armour. Yep. And Adidas, he's carrying my bag. <laughs> and his mom's hat. <laughs> I went to go buy one, opened my bag, and there's a damn hairbrush in there. So, I need to get my hair redone so bad. Got some hair perfume. I used the one from Gizu. It's like the best. It smells so good. It's like a layer of perfume. Here's my hat. I'm gonna bring some body oil. Pasta. Si, si, wow. Yes. For my husband. It's a big piece of steak. had lunch it was so good i had a steak and french fries i wish i got pasta it's okay we'll live no absolutely not that was a b we don't need that we don't need that energy here oh my god you guys look at this place i'm at i'm literally in paradise i'm literally in paradise look at this place oh my god it's so beautiful you ready baby he's, he's taking pictures of me oh my god Wow, the wood is up here. So cute. Oh, wow. Because last, last night it was by the rocks. Yeah. What? That's freaking crazy. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Um. Three, four, two, six. No. How many? Two. Two people. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. Man, this is going to be our official spot. Baby, this is awesome. Of them. This is, we're coming here every time now. <laughs> So, me and Roberto are at the beach. This hotel has kind of a private beach area. And we're gonna just relax here, read a book, and just enjoy the beach and relax. I haven't like relaxed. I've been so present during this vacation so far, and I'm loving it. Like, that is my word, is to be as present as possible, to live. I'm always so caught up in like going after my goals and my dreams and all these things, and I don't actually live day to day life. And there's a world where you can do both. So I want to be present as possible and live every day, remember every day, like just ground myself every day, take moments to breathe in my day and also be excited for my future, but be happy with the life that I'm living in the present. And that's my goal. So guys, I'm literally in paradise right now. 
like I can't even believe this. I'm just so grateful for life. I'm so grateful for everything, all these blessings, you guys, and I just can't believe this is my life. Like, little Alexis would just be going crazy right now if she saw it. What are you doing? Taking photos. Yeah? Feels good. The feels, water is not that cold. Feels good? Yeah. You're so cute. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you relaxing? Yeah. Let me see your video. Show the vlog. Nice. Like, see, there are pieces of this. Yeah. That, How that pretty. Gorgeous. Put it there. How was the beach? Nice. It was burning. We almost got pulled in and attacked. Because of him. The water doesn't play. No, it does not. That that water it's is strong. so strong. It will take you out. Okay, so we are on our way to the pool. Put my hair up in a little bun, and I'm wearing this cute one piece. It has an open back that you can wear. It doubles up as like a bodysuit, but also a bathing suit. I bought it when I was in the one hotel in LA. And then wearing my favorite pants that I got from Zara. They're like the perfect beach pant to wear. I've had these for like three years, and it comes with a matching top. Um, I just love throwing these on. They just like give. I'm at the beach and I just love the color. And then I got these new cute sandals. I've been looking for a pair of white sandals for such a long time. For literally like 20 bucks. We are about to head out to the pool area, swim. Hopefully there's not a lot of people there. Yeah. Ready, baby? We drove all the way to the mall because I wanted to get a tripod, but there the tri there's no tripod it's just since it happening we looked all over and drove for an hour and there wasn't one so now i have to do a handheld vlog and i really hate that i really just like setting the camera up nicely and getting nice shots but it's okay we gotta roll with the punches my promise is to deliver content no matter what so that's what we're doing that's what it looks like So we are out this morning, woke up early, Roberta went to the gym, and now we're headed to breakfast. This is our last morning at this resort, and it's been so peaceful. We had dinner last night, dinner was fun. I didn't even vlog dinner, oh my gosh. I'm the worst YouTuber on the planet, because I don't have a tripod, it's just weird, you know? I didn't even bring the camera, I didn't even bring my bag. I need to get it together, but here we are. We're on our way to breakfast, we just went what did we do yesterday? We just like walked around. We went to the beach. We went to the beach. We went to the shopping mall. We went to the shopping mall to go to Sephora. And uh, living the relaxed life. Living literally relaxing. South that is like all we're doing on this trip is relaxing. So now we're on our way to breakfast again. They have a good breakfast. I enjoyed my omelet yesterday. Wow. Gorgiania. Okay, I'd never say that again. Place. Maybe it's a season. Okay? During summer, of course, it's going to be more expensive. But right now, it's like one room per night is two fifty to three hundred dollars, depending on the room that you want. Okay, no parking fee, breakfast included for free, no resort fee, 
no CT tax free, no California fee, yeah. no, no American federal fee. In California, fee. there's like 70 fees that come with every stay in a hotel. It's ridiculous, so, but this is gorgeous. You pay 250 and that's, and that's it. it. For a suite. Crazy. Why? There's no chocolate croissant. Okay. Mm. Yeah, if they have that. Yeah. Where is in the can? Don't you have the Yeah, I don't know why. I'm Did crazy. you bring it here? Yeah. But I just, the memory card is already in this. Uh, so. I guess you guys are gonna have some different quality in this video. Mm -hmm. This omelette is probably some of the best omelette I've ever had. It's hitting. Oh, my, it's good. Bomb. I could quite want to kill you. Eh, quella è per portar via. Eh, però l'Adri dice di non prenderla perché non sa dove metterla. Altro problemone. Eh, la metti nella borsa della letta. Ma lei i riflessi delle, delle nuvole sull'acqua. Oh, the reflections yeah, of clouds. Sì. Mm. Oh, that is what that is. Huh? Mm. Or, I thought it was the current. Or the current. No, no. Current under, under the water. Mm. It's how you know where they are. Bello. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a video. <laughs> <laughs> Can we speak? Of course, ah. yeah. It's just my life. Ah, okay. You just tape your life. Ah. Mm -hmm. Sta vlogando. Yes, it's normal. Sta yeah. vlogando. Mm -hmm. Vlogando. This was... My mom wants to be an influencer to look at it. You want to? <laughs> Well, that's an influence. No. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Remember those moments? I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. You said it right the I'm first eating. time. Yeah, I'm eating. I'm drinking my... What is it? Tea? Tea. Tea. Drinking my tea. Tea schifoso senza lemon. Qui non c'è un limone, eh? Cazzo, hai fatto bene portarli. So they have a lemon? Ah. They don't have lemon. No. No. <gasps> Anche in altri posti comunque non c'è è difficile in Portogallo, mm. non so. Secco che gli hanno messo su a lei. Era il tuo secco sulla ieri la bevanda, la, la, sì, la margarita, mm. lì il lime. Ah, era il lime. <laughs> in my bag. Sì. Six you still have more? Yeah. Sì. Are you gonna miss this video? Cosa hai detto? Sì, sì. Non ho capito. Mancherà questa vista. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. View is vista? Mm -hmm. How you say that? Are you going to? Si, I'm sorry. Ciao, 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 buona colazione, good breakfast. Ciao, breakfast. ciao pulcino. Ciao. Mangia, ciccio, no? Non mangiare troppi dolci, ne mangiate tutto, tutto il piatto delle torte. Ho fatto un bel, una bella Ma l'hai mangiata tutto? E la Madonna, Robi. Ma porca puttana, ma lo. Hai tutto di sui. All of them, come. day of my stay yeah uh, somehow we went out on a date and on the last night of my stay yeah and uh, we kind of liked each other yeah and so we kept in, in touch after that yeah yeah I actually didn't know Roberto was actually living in Italy at the time I thought he was from Italy but living in Scottsdale that's what I thought his bio said um, we went on the date I actually this he you were the only date I actually like I went on a date with him and like the second he walked up to my car I was like I knew I was in trouble like as the way he just came up to my car dressed to the nines 
just it was a different aura but yeah it was the only day that I actually like it was so fun we had like the best time Roberto at the time I think he was just really good at making small things so fun like the smallest adventures it was really really fun and I think that stood out to me he was hilarious I think we we're both just cracking jokes he was very funny yeah she made me laugh yeah, that's I why I liked her yeah we said instant chemistry like yeah. instantly it, it felt like we knew each other for lifetimes years yeah, yeah. we had a really good date the first time and then by the end of the day he's like oh yeah I'm leaving back to Italy at 5 a.m. just to let you know and I was like what oh great the one date I actually like going back to Italy and I was like alright I'm never gonna see him again um, but then it ended up being like a week later you were flying back out to California and he had a layover in Arizona and we saw each other for the second time one month later at another event that I had to go so yep. I flew there again and I met her again and it so happened he, a few times so back and forth back and forth and then uh, she came to Italy for the first time I came all the way to Italy I've never left the west coast at this time of my life right I couldn't afford to travel a lot so I was like, okay, you came out here plenty of time to see me. It's my turn to cross the pond and to go up and see you. And so that's what I did. And it yeah. was probably one of the best trips of, of my life, hands down to this day. It's one of the best trips I've ever been on. Yeah, it was fun. We, I, we, we explored all, all the major cities in Italy. Yeah, we went on a little road trip. And uh, she had, like, I was showing her Italy for the first time. Yeah, yeah. So and it was she really was cool. like, oh my God. I was fainting, like literally. Everything she saw. Yeah, I mean, I got to really see him for who he was, see him and his culture. It was a cool experience all the way around. And I think that's the trip that I really was like, all right, I really like this guy. So that's cute. what are we going to do? Yeah, that trip made things, you know, more serious, a bit more serious. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, there was a moment where Roberto was just staring at me. You know, tell me down in the comments down below when you know when your boyfriend fell in love with you. I know, like, there was this moment, you, like, couldn't help it, you were just staring at me. In a way, I was like, what is going on? And I think, and that's when you were like, yeah, that's the moment I fell in love with you. And I remember it. To this day, I can remember your face. From that point, it got more serious, definitely. You still weren't official, though. We still weren't official. Um, I went back home, and then he came to visit me in April of that of 2019, and that's when we made it. He asked me out in Sedona. At the time, we both had nine to fives, yep. and uh, so we couldn't, uh, we didn't have time uh, or uh, location freedom to be able to no, no. see each other whenever we wanted. So it was harder. Yeah, he just at the time. graduated from college. He just yeah. got a nine to five for experience, and then I was already working one. And he did have his own business at the time, but he wanted to get a job. Um, and then I was working on trying to figure out how to get out of my nine to five at the time. And then he quickly realized he hated working a nine to five. It's really hard to go from having freedom to working for somebody else. So we both like had a conversation, and we knew like one even outside of our relationships, we just weren't happy with our situations. We wanted to work to get out of our nine to five. He signed a one year contract, right, yeah. with his job. So he was gonna finish out that year and during that year I'm going to then in the meantime work on how to get freedom so I can make way more money than I was, also have the freedom to do what I want and travel where I wanted. So that was like our kind of conversation we had. And then obviously it would just make it easier for us to see each other at that time. Yeah. And we did that. And we, we did. We did that and uh, I We did like six months later. So I quit in October twenty nineteen now. Which is a long time now. It seems like yesterday. But... It really seems like yesterday. Yeah. I quit my job that year in July. He quit his in October. The week after I quit my job I flew to Italy. I booked a ticket and I flew to Italy and I stayed here with him until he quit his job. That's kind of how we met, a kind of our story about how we met and how we got to the point where we would have a lot of freedom and able to maintain our relationship. Um, there's a lot more that goes into it. I feel like when you're in those moments of long distance and you don't have the freedom to see each other, what's some advice you would give to people to maintain their long distance relationship? What are some of the things that we did that helped us? 
to trust your partner for sure. Yeah. Right. You cannot be in a long distance relationship if you do not trust. If you, each other. If you it don't will not trust, work. yeah, it will not work. It will not work. So if okay. you feel yourself always constantly feeling the need to, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What are yeah, you doing? You what are you doing? Like and especially if you're two and doing two different countries and two different time zones, like you will go insane. You'll go crazy. You'll do that even in person. You, it's really hard if you can't trust your partner. So if, if, if your partner is never giving you a reason to not trust them and you're acting like that, you may need to go within and look inside and see what is making you react that way, right? And it may have nothing to do with your partner, just maybe how you grew up or certain things that you have to work through to fix that. But that can really drive a wedge between you and your partner if you don't have your own separate lives outside of just your relationship to keep you busy during the day when you guys can't talk and see each other. Yeah, right. I mean, we used to work all day. All so day, and we had a nine-hour time difference. We had a time difference, so... Uh, it you was know, harder. We times. used to text or call each other at night. Yeah, we would have a certain night, time. which was our morning. My morning, and we would do, like, FaceTime calls. We set our set things that we would do that we could look forward to in our relationship. Yeah. Um, and there has to be effort on both sides, what you're doing. Like, if, there, if one person's doing all the work, it won't work. You both have to equally want to put effort in. It's really hard to do a long distance relationship. Um, so you guys need to be in the middle like and carry both the weight on both. And you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who's not willing to do that. That doesn't really make any sense um, because it's already hard enough you can't see them. So if they're just not texting you or not calling you or not making any plans to see you, that's just probably not the right person to do a long distance relationship with. Um, so it was easy for us because we equally wanted to talk to each other. We equally wanted to update each other. And um, we were always like talking, talking, talking all the time. I think in the beginning, because we were excited, we would. But even now, like he'll, he'll, you'll be at home, even when we are long distance at this time. He'll be at home, I'll be at home, and we will like, he sometimes talk for a whole day, and then we'll just call each other at night. And it took time to get there, obviously. Right away, not, we weren't like that right away, but. Yeah. We're, we're very chill in our relationship. We don't, we let each other live our own lives. We trust each other. Like it's, we're very, very chill. I think that's a mindset you have to have, but you equally both have to have that in, in order to even get to that place or it won't work. I agree. Yeah. And um, the positive sides of it is we would see each other and then we would already have the next trip to, like a plan around the next time we're going to see each other. That way you can look forward to something. I think that's key. I think that's super important. You need things to look forward to. Yeah, you cannot plan, uh, mm -hmm. you know, your, your visits to each yeah. other. And also if you have a job doing that, you can schedule your time off. Right, around that time, yeah. accordingly, exactly. Financially, why? Keep, the, keep in mind that travel is expensive, so flights, accommodation, whatever you need to get. It, it can be a bit expensive, so you need to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, yeah. yeah. It's not cheap, especially for us being out of the country. <laughs> Our travel is now like a bill to us. It's, it's We just know we're going to do it. We just know it's a part of our like life. You can see when maybe the ticket prices are cheaper and right, schedule so learning, your that kind of stuff. Schedule your uh, visits. Cute thing that we like to do in our relationship when we're not together. Um, we're not business a lot, which is really really cute. Is like he'll just send me things, sending a card, flowers, or just even a text like, "Hey, thinking of you. I love you." Um, <laughs> like sometimes. Yeah, yeah, just a little thing. So yeah. you know, we wake up to wake up to something a surprise. Nice, and you it's know, cute. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like those little things in a long distance relationship really go such a long way. I was traveling in my, with my friend in London recently. He sent me a heart-shaped leaf. <laughs> like, like he, he was going on a walk and he saw a heart-shaped leaf and he it said, it made me think of you. Like, it's just, the, it can be the most simple thing, but try to make an effort to do those small things. Uh, that, Don't you that, agree? That was cute. It's yeah. cute. Yeah. Like, it, those little things are so, so cute. I think being very caring, very understanding, and just having a lot of communication. We're very, we're very open communication here. Like we could say anything to each other, um, and we just, we just try to be as much as understanding as possible. Right. We're Another thing is that I always tell her to tell me when she goes to bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do that. When she's home and safe and in bed, you yeah. know, and ready to sleep. Because yeah. then the next morning when I see the message, at least I know that she's okay. Right. And I don't I don't leave my day with anxiety or anything like that. I know, like because that. by the time I so, wake up, your day is kind of so. already over.
I already know she's okay. Another thing you could do maybe is sharing your location with the GPS mm -hmm. app if you want to. Yeah. We do. It's it's just nice, I think. It's just a nice check-in at the end of the day. So I love that. We both we both do that. He'll tell me he's going to bed and then I tell him I'm going to bed. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes he forgets. Uh, but it's not a big deal. But either way, we try to do that. So in a long distance relationship, the biggest things that matter are the little things that you do. Yeah. Like that can make the world of difference in your long distance relationship. Yeah, definitely. And maintain it. Yeah. yeah, and we we have, I mean, we make it fun. We'll have, we used to have like memories and FaceTime dates. We find ways to make it fun through the phone. Like you're just gonna have to like you're not having a regular conventional relationship in person. Like it's all on the phone. So get creative, have fun, um, do things, create dates. Um, and the schedule times that you want to talk and hang out for a couple of hours uh, because you don't get to do that and the only time you get to do that is on the phone. So that's what we would say. I agree. And then I guess now we're able to see each other way more. Yeah, right? now we, we have We have a lot more freedom. We are trying to do yeah. alternating trips. So for example, I stay three months in the US. Right. Then she comes and stays two, Mom, three months yeah. in Europe yeah. with me and so on. So, so that's kind of how we've been doing it for like three or two years. Yeah. So and maybe and we travel together as well. And we'll do it together. So we don't really have that much time apart now. Maybe it'll be like one or two months out of the year. Yeah, maybe it happens. Yeah, three well. months out of the year we'll be apart. Um, but mo now we are able to see each other a lot more because we've created a lifestyle where we have more freedom and we're fi more financially stable in order to afford to do that. It's definitely expensive though. Um, just gotta keep it, you know, and mind. keep it in mind. It, it just has to be important. It's a part of our life right now. It won't forever be, but right now it is and we're okay with that. So yeah, that's kind of like our take on being in a long distance relationship, how we got here, how we maintain it, mm -hmm. um, which all come with its challenges, but I think it's more fun than hard. Yeah, it, it's up to you to make Actually, it, yeah, it's really up you to know, you. more fun than harm. Yeah, yeah. But it's possible. It's very, Definitely. very possible. I so. think we live a fun life. I think we made the best out of our situation. It's very possible. But it's very possible. So I can see where when we first started telling people we were in a long distance relationship and what we were doing, before it became like more normalized in the last two years, people used to look at us crazy. They used yeah. to look at us like, why would you ever fucking do that? And I'm like, Okay, uh, calm down. And why would I? I don't get it. Like, yes, there's something nice about a simple life of having one home and having your routine. I do miss that. Don't get me wrong. But the second I go home, I'm bored. So, um, well, the second we stay somewhere for a long time, I get bored. So it doesn't bother me much. Yeah, it keeps things fresh. It keeps things very yeah. interesting. I think we're gonna have a really hard time when we want to be settled. Settling now. We are not uh, gonna know what to do. We're gonna freak out. But you will, we will still travel for, you know, the experience of traveling. That's, yeah, like, and, and which vacation. I'm excited for because yeah. we travel now because we have to, and it's kind of taken the, the, the beauty out of going on vacation and traveling. It feels like a chore now. It's yeah. something that we have to do, and I no longer get excited to go on trips because I, I travel all the time. I'm like over it. And people look at me like, are you okay, girl? Like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I know, I know, that's weird. But I do this all the time and it's it's like a lot. It can be a lot on one person and then sometimes you just want to stay at home. But then I'm so used to it now, when I do go home for long periods of time, I want to go on a trip. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it kind of messes with your mind a little bit. Right now we're working on getting a long-term visa for Roberto in the US. Uh, we're working on that now. That process has been really, really hard. That's also another thing in a long distance relationship, especially from country to country. It's really expensive for that to get visas, to try, like we've talked to two lawyers now. It's very confusing process. When you talk to immigration lawyers, they're confused yeah, about the they're process. Yeah, very confused. I think they are because we've been told like, wrong information yeah. from a lawyer, from an immigration lawyer. So, That's their specialty. Twice now. And we're like, we what? And we're thinking right now, since we've been doing a lot of traveling, is to finally settle down for a little bit, try to see if we like it. Definitely moving out of Arizona, most likely to LA in the next couple months. We are also thinking about New York. I don't know why, it's just on our minds. Um, we'll see. We'll see though. We will see. We'll see. We'll see where we go, but we're thinking about like trying a new adventure and just going somewhere in America that we actually like. Um, the reason why we're choosing America for right now for my career, it just works out 
better he can do his career from absolutely anywhere. Mm -hmm. In mine, it just sometimes can be a little harder just being in random locations because I'm not a travel vlogger. I like to travel within my content, um, but where I want to take my career, I'm gonna need a little more focus. And I want to do that in the US. And there's a lot of opportunities there. So that's kind of like our take and how we've gotten to where we are, how we maintain our relationship now, um, all the pros and cons to being in a long distance relationship. So if you guys have never met Roberto and you're new here and you guys don't know a lot about us and our life, um, I hope this give you a better understanding of how we live and why you see me traveling all the time. You're like, girl, let's go on another vacation. I wish. I wish. I mean, it kind of is for me. I mean, it kind of is. It but becomes a vacation, but it's it, never really a vacation that you can relax. And yeah, it's, it's, it's regular life, it's right? It's regular. We're like, we, I, I come here and I still do work. Like, it's not actually yeah. vacationing. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of our backstory. Mm -hmm. But we're almost home. We are driving three hours from the south to Lisbon.